well making a means okay and and so i'm going to take uh, ch3 and h2 and this is methylamine okay and if i add methylamine to this just normal alkyl halide here we have a nitrogen to nucleophile it will attack the carbon and displace the bromine okay and so we form this we form a nitrogen that has two and uh two ch3 group and we have this hydrogen here and so the reaction actually will just continue and continue we can't control it until we eventually form ch3 we actually form for them with a nitrogen that has a plus charge and bromine that has a negative charge okay so what's the point i'm trying to get off here and actually you will actually see that the, the molecule that i created is actually the nucleophile actually better than the initial one so dimethylamine is actually a stronger nucleophile than just methylamine okay and so the real we can't control it and so this is where we got to use azide chemistry so we take in we just take a, a normal sn2 target okay and we add sodium azide okay okay now it has a pair of, uh, uh nucleophile uh pair of nitrogen on the a uh, pair of uh lone pair on the nitrogen and so it will actually attack and just displace the bromine okay and so in this case we form this bond that's bonded to an n n3 okay and this is bonded to an n3 okay and then the idea is that we reduce lithium aluminum hydride okay and we get the the amine so this is the nh2 that we will get okay now nh3 yeah nh3 this is actually azide and this is actually in this is actually what's in your airbag in your car yeah so that's in your airbag in your car so that's just nice to know okay and so you can imagine i would also create a mean a different way so if i have toluene okay if i have toluene you know the molecule looks like this if i have nbs yeah when we talk about benzylic addition of bromine we actually get this when we add nbs we get this yeah we get the bromine there okay we get the bromine then and then we simply could add um nh3 minus yeah or sodium azide, it doesn't matter, and it will attack and displace the bromine, okay, and it will create this molecule here, N3, and then we just reduce the lithium aluminum hydride, okay, and we get the, uh, we get benzylamine, okay, we get the amine group, so notice that we are forming primary amines here, okay, so again, Important thing to know that azide chemistry, yes, yeah? so azide with the primary alkyl halide will get the molecule with the NH3, which is reduced with lithium aluminum hydride to get the amine. Okay. Now, reduction in nitrile. Reduction in nitrile. Reduction in nitriles, yeah, nitrile. Nitrile chemistry also work well. Also work well on the on these on creating primary amines, okay? So if I take acetyl nitrile, yeah. If I take acetyl nitrile and I add lithium aluminum hydride lithium aluminum hydride i will actually get the amine okay so we'll actually get the amine okay notice that this is my carbon here and then the amine goes one out okay so i get the amine okay now how do we create it we just simply take an sn2 target again yeah so we could take benzyl bromide yeah and we add CN minus, we get SN2 chemistry is gonna attack and displace the bromine. Yeah. And we get this carbon that is bonded to a carbon. Okay. That's bonded to a carbon that has our nitrogen. And the thing I wanna note uh 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 tell you guys about nitrile chemistry is that we we add a carbon, so we uh okay, so we add a carbon, so we add a carbon so in this case we just take a primary sn2 target and we add cn minus we get the nitrile but notice we just added a carbon notice we just added a carbon and so when i take this molecule and i, and I reduce with lithium aluminum hydride this is actually what we'll get okay so again thing to keep in mind with nitrile chemistry when we reduce with lithium aluminum hydride we actually get an addition of of carbon and you could see here if i take methyl bromide okay and i add cn minus i will actually get this molecule ch 
um, three that's bonded to a C that's bonded to a nitrogen because remember the, the carbon is actually a nuclear file notice that we just added a carbon okay and so if you reduce with lithium aluminum hydride okay if we reduce with lithium aluminum hydride you'll actually get the CH3 CH2 or actually it's CH3 CH2 and H2 okay another way of drawing this is we get ethylamine okay now, let's talk about retrosynthesis. So how do we make this molecule? Yeah, let's say make this, okay, make this from any aldehyde. Yeah, make this from any aldehyde. Well, again, if I'm looking at this, we know that we could get this group from nitrile chemistry. Okay, so if I retrosynthesize this, if I retrosynthesize this, I could get this molecule from this OH here and this on nitrile chemistry here. Yeah, and we just reduce with aluminum, uh, reduce with aluminum hydride, but it says to make from aldehyde. So if I break this bond, I know that from secondary alcohols we get aldehydes. So I could imagine this is coming from benzaldehyde. Okay, so if we have benzaldehyde, and then what do we have on the end? We just have C and minus. We just have C and minus. We just have C and minus. Okay, we just have C and minus. And so if I'm running the synthesis forward, yeah, if I'm looking at this, I could take benzaldehyde, add C and minus. It attacks and will create the, the oxygen that's negatively charged so we get something that looks like this I mean to me that has a negative charge and this is not bonded to a carbon it has a nitrile group and we just simply just reduce lithium aluminum hydride yeah lithium aluminum hydride and we'll actually get the molecule we're a OH group and this now becomes an ethylamine and these are look these are alpha beta hydroxylamines okay the, the beta group will always be the carbon that contains your alcohol. So these are beta um, hydroxyl, hydroxyl means. Yeah. And you get these from CN minus addition, from CN minus addition. Okay. So these are alpha, alpha, alpha beta hydroxyl means.